Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to revisit one of my favorite topics, the ego. We're going to watch how to counter your ego with Sheikh Hamza Youssef yet again. I talk to people offline and as with anything, people are divided. Some say that Sheikh Hamza Youssef is the man. He's an absolutely beautiful representative for Islam. Others say that he's a kafir and not a trustable source at all. To me personally, what I have heard from him was beautiful, was impressive and aligned with what I understood from the Quran. With no further ado, let's have a look. You have four enemies in this life and only four. Uh, nafs, shaitan, hawa and dunya. All the other enemies, uh, you, if Allah sends them to you, it's a tribulation. But your real enemies are these four. And if, if you can conquer these four enemies, the, all the other enemies are very uh, insignificant. But the nafs is the number one. I learned this from you guys in the comment section, so thank you very much. You said that the ego is nafs in Arabic. The TV in Jambek, the Prophet said the, the most uh, vicious enemy that you have, the most harmful enemy that you have, the most aggressive enemy that you have is your own ego between your two sides. Yes. And we all have them. We're, we're, we're born with them. Children, children have wonderful, beautiful side, but then they've got that uh, horrible, childish, selfish side. <laughs> it's mine. You know, when they grab a toy, it's mine. So this, this is something that as you grow older... I can relate to that as a father. Hopefully you, you learn to overcome <laughs> that, but there are many people that behave like infants. Uh, throughout their whole lives. This is actually something very, very interesting that I observed in Thai culture. In Thailand, people say that culturally, those childish behaviors, like being envious, being grumpy, this is something that you will have to let go of as an adult. This is mine. Eh? This egocentric behavior is seen as something childish within the country. And this is why Thailand is called the land of thousand smiles. But it's not artificial. It's not fake. The Thai people truly see this as something childish and therefore just leave it in the past. Leave it for the children. As grown-ups, they see it as their responsibility to be happy, smiling adults. Absolutely beautiful. important things that we can do is the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, just to remember Allah, to work on ourselves. We have to work on ourselves. I mean, we all struggle. I struggle with myself. We have to work on ourselves. We, we can always do better. Sure. Um, I, was, I was today, just today, I was in a, uh, you know, I had a, a meeting with some people that came. They were nice people, you know, and, and I was, I just really, because I was really busy with something else and I had some problems, I just, I, I didn't, I felt like, you know, I really wasn't, uh, I was rude, basically, to somebody. And I, and I immediately, like, after the meeting, I went up to her and I just said, I want you to please... I apologize. You know, I, I, I don't think I, I listened to you attentively, uh, and, that, and that was my mistake. And I think being able just to ad admit that you're wrong about things is really important, not being defensive. Um, the ego always defends itself. The ego defends itself because every loss for the ego is a death. This is what the ego is truly about. If you cannot admit your faults, your shortcomings, you keep your ego alive. But every single time you can objectively reflect and look at your ego and do not identify with your ego, you essentially start understanding that you are not your ego. And like this, you can actually know your enemy, know thyself so you know God. Extraordinary scholars, uh, Ibrahim al laqqani an amazing man. If you study his life, you just marvel. Um, he actually wrote the Johara in one night. And when he finished it, he went to his sheikh and he gave it to him. And his sheikh knew what it meant, like he had had an opening, because it's a stunning uh, poem, um, 144 lines of just crisp uh, 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 creed. And he, he took an oath with him. He said, from this day forward, I never want you to defend yourself. 
Mm. And that's a, that's a powerful practice of just not defending yourself. We have an amazing story of Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu anhu when a man was really abusing him in front of the Prophet sallallahu and the Prophet was there listening and, 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 and smiling and then Abu Bakr just couldn't take it anymore. So now his nafs came in and even Abu Bakr had uh, a nafs. I mean it's the purest of all of nafs course. after our Prophet sallallahu in, in, in his ummah. But this is what it means to be human. Every human will have an ego. This is the battle that we have within ourselves. As far as I know, this is the internal jihad. He didn't take it anymore. He started defending himself. The Prophet left. When he saw him later, he asked him why he left. He said, that man, was. it wasn't true what he was saying. He said, I saw the, the angels defending you. And right when you began to defend yourself, shaitan came into the room. And I don't sit with shaitan. I mean, that, that is just such a stunning testimony to the power of fighting the ego. Um, sure. So what I, what, I, what I would suggest, first and foremost, is that, that you, you, you begin to do a type of muhasaba. And we actually, Imam Zaid and I worked on something together. What is muhasaba? Called the Agenda for Changing Our Condition. And it's actually a, a program to work on the self where you, you do a musharata, uh, you know, and then muraqaba, and then muhasaba. As much as I appreciate the Arabic language, the issue with many Islamic videos is we simply do not understand. Within Christian Orthodoxy, for example, there are many Greek words that are being used, but every single time the people make at least an effort to translate them to us. It would be beautiful to see if scholars could translate those words to us non-Arabic speakers. Mu'aqaba. So you do, you, you, you actually commit like I'm not going to backbite and you commit to doing it for 40 days. 40 days straight, because it takes 40 days to really get the, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave arba'ina layla. Like, he gave 40 to, to prepare for the meeting, he gave Moses 40 nights to prepare. And so. And Jesus fasted for 40 days. 40, this is why in Jama'at Tabliq they go out for 40 days. There's a big secret in the number 40. Hmm. And so, uh, you do 40 days of. Not, I'm not going to backbite for 40 days. And if you do, you have to do muhasaba at the end of the day. And then... What is muhasaba? You start over if you didn't do it. And then you do a muhasaba. You, you have to punish yourself. Ibn Wahbin said, I made many oaths to give up um, backbiting. And I ended up fasting a lot. Because he would break the oath. He'd do another and then he'd have to fast. And he said, so I decided that I would give a dinar in charity every time I, I spoke ill of someone. And he said, because of my love for money, I was able to finally give up. Because um, <laughs> he, 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 he That's made funny. his oath instead of fasting, breaking his oath. So um, I think that's something that you can practice. It's just working on things. One of the things most of us in, 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 in Sana, uh, you know, out of the Basir, the human being knows his own soul. Walaw alqa ma'adira. Even if he gives his excuses, he knows his own soul. And of so course, this self-accountability, essentially, you will always have to face yourself in the mirror. You cannot escape yourself. Even if you escape a situation, you weaseled yourself through something and nobody saw it. You got away. Ho, ho, ho. The reality is you saw it. You will always see what you have done and you will always have to face your own judgment first. This is why I have to repeat, know thyself and then you can know God. You're in a constant battle with yourself and when you set out to do something or to not do something and then you fail, you know that you failed and that is the beauty of self-accountability. What's wrong? It's very good to ask people. I mean, I, I always get shocked sometimes, I'll ask, um, do I do this or do I do that? And I say, yes, you do. You know, that, that's an ouch, but it's something that you have to, uh, to take reflection from other people. So that, that's important. And then the, the best thing, and this, this is absolutely well established, is prayer on the Prophet's life. And if you make it a consistent practice, uh, you, your soul will, will align. And, and this is something witnessed by many, many people. So people that do consistent practice of uh, prayer on the Prophet uh, that, that it has an effect on the heart. 
What does that exactly mean? Please let me know in the comment section as well. Prayer on the Prophet. As far as I know, Muslims are commanded to pray to Allah and not to Muhammad. So please let me know and clarify this for me. And they really begin to behave uh, in a much better way. But each of us have our trials and tribulations. All right, guys, and this is it for today's short video. I absolutely love this subject. As you can clearly see, the ego is simply such a fascinating enemy that we have to face on a daily basis. People ask me, how do you get rid of the ego? You don't. You don't get rid of the ego. You face the ego and you identify the ego and you detach the ego from yourself. That's all you can do. Once you understand that you are not the ego, this is when the liberation starts. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel via Patreon, for example, help me out and click on the description box below. Check out the links. Thank you so much for that. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.